It is test time, so clean off your desk, get out a nice sharpened pencil, and put up your test privacy divider. Okay, I am just kidding. We are wrapping up this topic of study on assessment, but not by taking a test. Instead, we will just wrap up by spotlighting a few of the key concepts we hope you have slipped into your backpack of new knowledge from working through Module 3. Assessment. I would like to thank Dr. Affler Bach for pulling the content of this module together and helping us to see the power of assessment, not as in grade given at the end of learning, but as an instructional tool, a tool that helps us know when to modify instruction so that it can be as effective as possible. Effective literacy teachers create classroom settings where students feel safe and valued and that provide numerous opportunities for them to engage in learning expectations in a variety of formats, implement literacy practices aligned to the science of teaching reading, and use assessment to adjust instruction as needed to support student learning. Assessment is essential for supporting effective literacy instruction. This module focused on assessment and the key role it plays in strengthening teacher instruction, which results in student learning. Using assessment data initially to identify where students are in their knowledge and skills related to key components of literacy development, and then using it systematically throughout the academic year to guide instruction as a powerful way to teach. Much of the what, the why, and the how of understanding and using assessment as a teaching tool was covered during your module exploration. So we are not going to walk back through the details but we do want to touch on a few important takeaways that need to be firmly stowed in your cognitive backpack about this important topic. We all know that instruction is not a one-size-fits-all concept. Different approaches are needed to meet the needs of all students. Assessment also does not come as a one-size-fits-all. Assessments are designed for different purposes, with some used to identify students who might be in need of extra support, others to narrow the focus of instruction, and others to help teachers measure progress and growth. There is no single assessment or manner of collecting data from assessments that can provide everything teachers need to know about their students' literacy knowledge and skills. Teachers must be knowledgeable about assessment in order to understand how to use the collective data provided through their own formative and summative classroom assessments and the provided through the school district and state comprehensive assessment plan to build a literacy profile for the students in their care. This no one size fits all assessment takeaway also includes the fact that even though we may administer the same assessments to all students, it is the evaluation of the data that helps us hone in on individual needs. It is when we look at the data and ask ourselves that important. So what question? So what is this telling me about Tom's understanding of short vowels that we are able to really use that data to tailor our instruction to individual students? Another important takeaway is that it all begins with assessment. As much as we sometimes dislike the idea of assessment, when used with intent, it leads to instruction, which opens the door for more data gathering, which leads to more thoughtful evaluation of that data, which leads to more informed instruction and this process continues constantly. It is critical that teachers understand and utilize the assessment instruction cycle. The recursive process begins with gathering data, which must be evaluated, which informs the planning of instruction, which guides the delivery of those planned activities, at which time assessment data is being collected. You just cannot help it, as teachers are always watching and listening and taking notes, which seamlessly keeps the cycle moving. In addition to this informal gathering of data, it is important that regular points of data collection are established. Literacy development does not develop just in our classrooms. There are many outside factors that are involved. Strong implementation of a tiered support model is a way to help strengthen literacy development and assessment helps us determine the level of support that might be needed. It is also important to remember that this tiered support system only works when there is strong collaboration among all building professionals that touch the students involved. There are many additional takeaways we could discuss, but I leave you with this last thought. We as teachers have many goals and expectations for the students in our classrooms, but the ultimate goal is for all students to be confident, proficient, and fluent readers and writers. Expert teachers are database problem solvers. They are knowledgeable of their content but also knowledgeable about assessment and the role it plays in helping them reach. 
and push each student in their areas of need so that they will be confident and successful in their literacy journey. Congratulations! It is now time to officially add the Module 3 Assessment Badge of Completion to your backpack. Great job! Thank you for your attention to this module, and I look forward to working with you soon when you are ready to dive into the next module. Oral Language